the lovely Aston Park fishery and this is going to be the home of the UK Junior Champs on Monday. We're on Butts Lake and this is one that we're going to be fishing on Monday. It's full of fish. And the first time out with Emily doing a bit of all sorts really. We've been dobbing some and we've just had a first look down the edge which I'm doing a brilliant job of skylining. And hopefully we're going to catch a few fish on camera for you. I'm just going to come around the other side just because I am proper skylining that. So we're using the MTX3 today. And a bit of fish with that. MTX3 V2. And caught loads of fish. Loads of muggers about. And now we're just having a little look down the edge. Been priming it with a few dead maggots. And there we go. Straight away we're in. I'm going to move this top kit so I don't stand on it. I think some, this is probably some... the smallest carp of the day. <laughs> I was say, we've had some big fish mugging. What, say the biggest is six pounds you've had? Yeah, maybe five, six, yeah. Five, six pound. Yeah, just dropped them down the edge and they seem like the smaller fish. We're just firing a few casters across there. They've been coming up for that. There's a wasp in the sweet corn. Yeah, my mate. Like <laughs> a bit one there. And we're going to do a little bit of a... Same thing we did with Polly a while ago. We're going to do a one hour challenge, see what she can catch. I think Polly had about 30 pounds when he did it. See if we can beat that. But, yeah, Emily's catch. What did you, yeah, you've had about six, seven really nice fish mugging, some smaller ones, and then two, two and two drops down the edge. What we got on the up there? Two dead um, maggots? About five. Five dead maggots. Try and get rid of them smaller fish, see if we can get the bigger ones. If you're watching, don't forget to give us a thumbs up so we know that you're here. There we go. Loving the catapults. I see a few moving. Just been dropping a rig right next to the mud over there and catching a few. Someone's shooting at us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's loads of fish over there. It's solid down the edge as well, so it's looking really good for Monday. Obviously, our juniors are all here. We've got 18 juniors and we've got uh, 18 consultants, nine Preston and nine Matrix. So each of the juniors are going to have a angler with them. And yeah, they'll be having some coaching and then also fishing a match in the afternoon. Uh, what venue is this? This is Aston Park Fishery, which is Sheffield and the venue for the UK Junior Champs on Monday. But yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a chat with Emily. I'm just gonna destroy a peggy and move a few bits about so I can get in a bit closer and not disturb the peg too much. I can see you float then. You made me miss it. <laughs> but yeah, Emily's one of the the rising stars of fishing. You've only been fishing, what is it, two years now? Two years next month. Yeah, two years and I think you pretty much started match fishing straight away, didn't you? You didn't fish for long before you was... No, literally, I just went straight for a match. No messing. I fell in. I fell in? <laughs> First of a match. Do you think that helped you learn a lot quicker? Just by like going straight in at the deep end and fishing matches? I mean, apart from literally, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, when you fish big venues and you're surrounded by such big anglers and you learn so much more than pleasure fishing. I think it's just the experience and who you surround, who you surround by on your peg. The thing is, as well, is like, like where Emily's fishing is like Partridge, which is renowned for being a tough venue up in the northwest, and it's not, it's not the sort of venue that you that many anglers look forward to going to because of the high standard of anglers. When you got people like. Andy Bennett and, and the likes fishing it, Christian, and they're there regular. It's 
you're fishing against the top anglers in the northwest at that venue and you're regularly getting section wins and framing and stuff like that aren't you so yeah i'm yeah. working i'm i'm working hard apart from not looking at my float just now <laughs> and falls of dead maggots going in. Well, on the side. <laughs> so tactics wise, if there's any of the juniors watching this, who's going to be here on Monday, what do you think? What would you be doing if you were fishing a match here on Monday? Mugging? 100%. 100%. You can see. Look at all the them over there. there. We'll have to have another go in a minute. We'll see if we catch a couple down the edge. And then we'll have a look at the... Uh, see if we can mug a couple. They are spooky though. It's like you put a pole over them and they are disappearing. Oh yeah, they're gone. Literally gone. It's like you have to rest them for a few minutes then you can try and go out and nick one. But it's crazy. As soon as, you, as, soon as your pole's out of the way, you can see that... See if we can zoom in a little bit there. Yeah, you've got... Got backs out of the water, heads out of the water. Well, you've just been feeding dead maggot down the edge, haven't you? That's it? Yeah, just dead maggot, that's it, nothing else. And then cast us across. Oh, there we go. And I have waited to go on this. I've not tried it, well. I've just dropped on it now. Is that a better one or a small one again? Um, it's not as big as the ones I've been mugging, but... Still a decent size. Still a fish. decent I mean, size. Yeah. yeah. There's quite a few nice mirrors as well. Nice fish as well. Yeah, all the fish are in mint condition. This one's having a meltdown. Yeah, lovely fish, very nice calf on site. A bit of breakfast this oh, morning. Breakfast mega. Tackle shop's got everything from every single brand pretty much in the shop, so it's really well stocked. Obviously the Matrix Isles is the one that everyone should be going down buying stuff, but it is a really well stocked tackle shop, loads of bait as well. Park behind your peg. The staff yeah. are lovely as well, yeah. So helpful. Yeah, they've um put us on some fish today I think yeah, Matt, like, by the looks of it you'll catch on every single peg here but there's 50 pegs on Book Lake where we are today so the juniors are going to have loads of room on Monday we've got five maggots on there uh, maybe a bit more <laughs> oh, five or six yeah five or six and then just feeding big handfuls of dead maggots down the edge How many maggots would you normally get through doing something like this? A few pints, wouldn't you, the way that you've been feeding? When I was at Rookery, um, I think I'd done maybe five, six pints in the edge. Yeah. It was a lot. Another round of Today I've went through, I think I've fed, up to now I've fed a pint. But then you've like you've not. This is the first time you've really fished it, and it. So I think by the looks of it, once you're on it, giving yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think you need to put. I think it's just like little and often, to be honest. Just keep putting the bait in, keeping them there. So if we can zoom in and get a float on camera. Just one of our, Is it one of our mudline floats? Yeah. I think it's about point four. So nice heavy rig. And there's. There's a bit of wind today as well, and it's bang on. Mm. I'm lucky, I might be able to see a bite on camera. Yeah, so on, like, on Rookery, you fished, uh, what was it, the Ladies National you fished at Rookery? Rookery, yeah, Rookery. I was on uh, Crow, Crow Lake. Just unreal venue. 
just rammed, absolutely rammed with fish. I think you framed in the open, didn't you, the week before and then... Yeah, a few days before, um, I was second overall on the open. I had £196.10, which is just unreal. So we got two new PBs down there. 196, so is that your PB match so, weight? Yeah, so that was the six hour weight and then five hour was 164. Are they both PBs? Both PBs, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a brilliant, brilliant venue for catching big weights of fish. Where did that put you end up? In, where did you end up in the national? Was it? Uh, this year I was eighth. Eight. Yeah, I was on the wrong lake. Magpie's got a bigger stamp of stamp of fish in it so it's just one of them it's just unfortunate but fingers crossed we've got next year yeah i think any any time that a match is split across different lakes there's always a little bit of luck involved in being on the right lake but you still win your section did you yeah 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 how did your team do i think the team were fifth overall i think there's quite a lot there. what was about 50 odd there this year in it uh, yeah, I want to say about 55. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good event, really good event. And are you in it again next year? Of course. Going to win it? I'm going to do my best. <laughs> well, I'm going can... to jinx myself. <laughs> I hope so. But go on, put the pressure on. Say you're going to win it on camera. Then... <laughs> but no, hopefully I'll catch uh, It'd be nice to get that fish. Fish all, fish all suit. This is the thing. Is, I mean, the ladies' national. It's a it's a massive event anyway, and then throwing the fact that you qualify for the Fishermania final on top of it. I'm surprised. There's, like, I'm surprised it's, there's not even more people. That is definitely a tiny little one. Oh, it's a baby carp. He's about the same size as the fish <laughs> I've got in my fish tank at home. <laughs> Um, someone's asked what elastic you're using. Um, at the minute, for my margin, is 14 to 16 slick. And then anything else really is orange, 12 to 14 pretty much in the rest of my kits, to be fair. They're all for a short kit, aren't they? Yeah. Do you tend oh. to use short kits whenever you can, rather than long kits? Um, it depends on the venue. Um, where I go to uh, in Charlie and at, at High A's, I am... Um, because there's carp in there up to £27, I tend to go through a long kit. But any, like any snake lakes and stuff, I try to fish short kits as much as I can. So, especially shallow fishing and stuff like that, what we're doing, like shallow across there, mugging uh, down the edge. I mean, you're only fishing 12 inches deep, aren't you? So it's. Yeah, you've not got very, to. It's not very needed a long kit. And I, think it, I think you waste a lot of time when you've got a long kit because there's so much elastic through it. Yeah, I think Especially in the summer, if you're fishing shallow, you just need to get them in as quick yeah. as you can, sort of thing. They, they come, they pop up nice and short as well, don't they? Ready to scoop them as well with a short kit, which is always nice. Just got that bit more control, which is nice. So if we catch another one down the edge, and then we'll have a, see if we can mug one. Some out there, but come on, oh, we nearly had me then. Oh, it's a little one again. I'm going to rest this for a bit now. Yeah, had a couple of decent fish straight away and then they've gone a little bit smaller. I'll have a quick look at the rig. Okay, so what's that? Point four. And then just a bolt. Four inch up length. And a big meaty, <laughs> big, big meaty of bunch of maggots.
Right, we'll have a look and we'll go and see if we can catch one over there. Quite a lot of them have been around that scum over there, just blown down with the wind. And they seem to be congregating in there now. They're not so been feeding across there. There's been plenty of plenty of fish coming up. Oh, I nearly hooked a pig. <laughs> then rig wise, carp dibber on one of on this one. And then yeah, the orange 12, 12 to 14 elastic in this one. Yep. Oh, let's see if we can get one of these. They go very spooky once or once the poles over them. Even with the white top kits they seem to seem to know as soon as there's a pole waving about over the heads. I'll just come around the other side now. Someone's coming. Good to see you going into fishing as opposed to taking selfies and being on the phone all day. Obviously, don't follow you on TikTok, do they? I think Emily's TikTok account's bigger than the Matrix one at the minute. What well, you got about seven, eight thousand people following you on there? Um, I'm not too sure. I've no. not been on it for a no. while. Um, yeah, there's about that. I think we're sitting at about maybe 14,000 likes. Oh. So we're like head to head with the Matrix account, <laughs> which, is, which is fun. There we go, look at that lot. Was that just pushing it a bit further into the reeds then? Yeah, I saw him. He was up having a munch against the reeds, so just clicked it in front of his nose. They do fight on here as well. Definitely a better stamp of fish doing that. Uh, someone's asked, are you fishing dead depth? Uh, no. Um, I'm just holding it up. So if you, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they're up, eating out of the grass. So I'm literally just dropping the pellet in. So, yeah, so they keep sticking their heads up. Then feeding a few casters. A few have been going a bit tight over onto the grass. And you can see them with their heads up, munching on them. So yeah, I mean, it's just, I'm just dropping a rig in there amongst them and, and getting them. As I say, it's case, it tends to nick a couple of fish quick and then they disappear. And then they've been moving across into their scum over there and then around this corner. So it's, they've been chasing them about a little bit, haven't you? To keep, like, keep fish coming, but... Oh, wasp. And then fishing this margin line. We can see how many times you've missed we feed now, look. There's two paws on the grass. Right, let's see if we can catch one more quick. And we've got some we've got a challenge to do. Let's see if we can beat Polly. It's 
straight away. See one's head popping up, and then casters are just gone in. How deep are you there? Probably about 10 inches, foot. Yeah, max. They've got their heads nearly out on the mud there. Oh, there's a big one there. Right under the surface, that one. Problem is like the wind's just blowing all the bits of reed and grass and stuff over there. It's a bit difficult to get a, a rig right in there. MTX free poles looking very good as well. Absolutely chocker with so, fish in here. I think while we're uh, while we're here, let's have a bit of. I guess. Monday, three hour match, juniors on here. What's your guess for winning weight? I'm going to say 80 pounds. 80 pounds in three hours. Oh. See, I'm in a difficult position there. Do I go higher or lower? That's why I let you guess first. I'm going to go 75. I think you're underestimating them. I think it could be more, but I don't want to. It's only a three hour match, though. I know, but some of these juniors. Better than me. Yeah, I must say, last year's competition, the quality of the anglers was unreal. It was really good. I think we've probably got four or five who fished last year are coming back this year. And then there's a lot of new faces as well. A couple of really young ones that are like 11, 12 years old. And then up to, I think the maximum age is 17, so we've got some older ones as well. Uh, will the match be live streamed? We will be doing some lives during the day. So we'll do some Facebook lives, probably do a YouTube live as well. And then we'll do all the results. We'll do them as a live. So there'll be coverage on the Matrix page and on got one, uh, Matrix page, the Preston Innovations page and the Sonu page. We'll all be doing coverage. It's a match that we work together on just to give the juniors the best day really, the best day possible. So we get a nice mix of anglers from all three of the brands. We all chip in with loads of good prizes. So it's like I think it's about three and a half thousand pounds worth of prizes on the day. They all get a goodie bag as well. This will be the second year that we're running it and hopefully next year will be even bigger and better. Was that one back over across where you've been feeding the casters? Yeah, they've just moved back across. I think I spooked them to be fair. It's a nice fish. have a look at that one and we'll call that it I think. Oh he's having a bit of a perfect demonstration of <laughs> mugging. What was saying three pound four pound for that one? About 
two and a half, I'm going to say. Yeah, it's a bit smaller. See, see why I never go over net limits, can't you? Because I'm like, yeah, that's six pound. And he doesn't want to go. Never go. No, perfect. Right, to keep your eyes peeled, we've got um, some of the bits of Emily that will be on social media in the next week or two. Um, so we're filming this little challenge that will be going on YouTube. And then also we've got some photos on Facebook and stuff coming. Uh, someone else, but I love mugging them. Get some good takes that way. All right. All right, I will say bye from me and see you all soon. See you later.